Okay. Yeah, so for the theme this evening, I was thinking of, so the phrase that came to me was coming back to presence. And um, I've been reflecting on the intersection of mindfulness and yoga nidra. And I think mindfulness can sometimes get a bit of a bad rap in the meditation circles, especially the deeper dive meditation circles, you know, um, because it seems so simple and simplistic at times. But I think also uh, the simplicity is part of the, the beautiful function of it. And so I see that mindfulness and yoga nidra are really intertwined. And I look at coming back to presence. So if you think of the practice of yoga nidra, where you're starting with intention and then going through and welcoming the body, breath, emotions, thoughts, self, joy, life. Um, it's a constant process of coming back to presence and reorienting your attention. So it's a really a form of attention training where we're learning to um, let our attention rest, not just on the breath, but on rotation of attention through the body and that is very much a mindfulness practice. And so um, this idea of coming back to presence and the simplicity of tuning into the presence that, are, that is already here just felt like um, a really powerful part for me of the yoga nidra practice actually. So um, part of I, what I wanted to do this evening was just to, for us to notice like throughout the practice that you know, when the mind gets distracted, you bring attention back to the, the practice wherever we are and back to presence. And so it's a powerful form of attention training, especially when you're in a relaxed state. And absolutely fine if you're, if you fall asleep or go in and out of, of states and not necessarily um, be, quote, doing an attention training practice by following along, you know, that that's okay too. But the yoga nidra can, can be an attention training practice. And I was thinking about, you know, when we talk about a presence or natural state and resting and what's already here and turning attention back to our presence, what's already always here, that there's one side of that, which is very direct and simple and true just what's naturally, if you just even consider right now, like, oh, when I, when attention is directed back to the present moment, then yeah, there is this sense of being, of presence that doesn't require kind of a doer to be in touch with. It's just here. And once, once there's an attunement to it, there's, you know, something shifts. And so I know some of the, the meditation teaching basically says it's always already here, so you, you're going to tune in or you, you don't, you know. But in this practice, it's kind of saying, no, we're using mindfulness to allow us to remember or allow us to turn our attention back. And then depending on where we're at in our practice and which day it is, this can either be something that is effortful it's like, oh, okay, all right, I'm bringing my attention back to this body part, the breath, and emotion, presence, etc. Or it can be like a background operating system that's um, like a like a you could call it conscious automaticity, where there's just presence is background to everything that's coming and going. And you could say it is anyway, but when we're not attuned to it, it kind of what a good does it do us, right? <laughs> um, and so um, part of the practice here then is noticing when those moments are that we're really needing some attention training and, and, and help coming back to presence, coming back to a sense of, of being. And when also... Um, the practice has stabilized or it's just a good day and we don't know why that there's just presence operating in the background and there's a sense of a relaxation of the doer 
and there's just more of a sense of being and of of happiness or um, joy or simple presence, um, equanimity. So it's a both and thing where you can have a deeper connection with the background operating awareness and also kind of cultivate connection with that. And that's, that's, I think, what the mindfulness practices really describe well, the mechanism of that. And I think that that is what we're doing in Yoga Nidra is just returning back to presence again and again. And in Yoga Nidra, in particular, resting as presence. So resting as what we are. And especially when we get to the part of the practice with the I, the I thought, the thought I that kind of comes up and takes hold of the emotion or the thought or whatever else it is going with us. That's not the, that's not the part of the practice where, okay, let's like see how we can get rid of that. It's, it's just equally as welcome as an emotion, just the movement of the I thought that comes up and takes hold of something and then causes extra suffering because we're we're now into a story so we'll do this coming back to presence thing with all the koshas of yoga nidra from the first kosha of the body to um, or the sheath of the body all the way through to joy the i thought um when we investigate the I thought and see that it's a thought, then that's why that's mapped onto investigating joy because joy can arise when we see through, oh, it's just a thought. And here I'm coming back to presence in this moment. So in that sense, it's just very much mindfulness and not um, uh it's simple in that way, I guess, that I, I really enjoy that about the practice. So um, coming back to presence, this whole idea of conscious autopilot, <laughs> having a different kind of set point for autopilot that is presence. And, um, and I think uh, one thing, one more thing about this is that there's kind of like a bit of a fallacy that when that presence is an autopilot, um, you know, that that means there are large amounts of bliss running through my body at all times. And uh, I look upon everything as amazing and interconnected. And that can be for certain time periods. And, and it can even be kind of like a general um, default state of awe, for sure. Um, but also the background operating of awareness and presence can just feel like um, you'll describe it for yourself as we go into the practice, but it can just feel like this, this naturalness that's here. This too is like, have you heard of the meditation practice where you go, oh, this too, this too, this too is here, you know, so there's a settledness in that. So the presence itself and awareness itself can have different qualities that come out of it, ranging from equanimity and <clears throat> to just sort of this um, lack of resistance to what is. So um, any questions before we get into the practice for this evening or reflections or anything at all? Okay. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. We'll go into a yoga nidra, non-sleep, deep rest, where we're, we're possibly consciously napping, um, possibly attention training all the way through. Whatever it is that we do is absolutely perfect. So settle in. And if you've done the practice before, you may kind of have a spot that you like to be and you settle into it and there's a sense of familiarity and all of the 
those things are very good for our nervous system, reminding us, you know, just kind of self-care activity of doing this beautiful practice together. So maybe even carrying a sense of gratitude into the practice for what space you have that you're using to do yoga nidra. Settling in. So depending where you are, there may, may be chilly or not, so feel free to have a blanket nearby and bolster underneath your knees. You can also experiment with elevating your feet, which I hear stimulates the glymphatic system, which is helpful for immune functioning and other things. It's nice to elevate your head a little bit, so if you do have a pillow, feel free to do that, use that. Yeah, and then maybe take kind of a sigh exhale, so a deep inhale, and then some kind of noise, sigh out. And then right from there, begin to tune in with the flow of the breath in and out. So it might just be like meeting an old friend, catching the, the wave of the breath as it comes in and out. And just starting here, tuning in with the rhythm of the breath. Starting here with a sense of presence, whatever that means to you. It could be the word awareness or presence or any other word, but the felt sense of being this presence that you are. So you're connected with the breath. A sense of presence. <clears throat> so simultaneously, this is outside the thinking mind. This is just riding the wave of the breath in and out, feeling this global felt sense of presence, and sensing the whole back side of your body where the, the surface meets you. With each exhalation, maybe sensing all the way into the floor or bed, couch, mat, whatever your surface you're on, just sensing all the way through into the ground, to the earth. Breathing, a sense of presence, and then on the exhale, sensing earth quality, earth element. And if there is an intention for this practice, naming that inwardly, perhaps just to see what unfolds or to work with something specific, just naming inwardly your intention. And any um, felt tones, like feeling tones or emotions right now that might be present, like just a simple joy, being able to practice together. Could you acknowledge that? Just noticing any feeling tones or emotions that are present. And we'll let this sense of presence, awareness, using your own language for 
this. Um, be, be the inner resource for this practice. This that welcomes all that's arising. That kind of inner kind, curious feeling of this too, this too. So breathing in and out, feeling the whole back side of your body. Breathing in and out, feeling now the whole front side of your body. Sensing now the whole left side of your body. And the whole right side of your body. So the mind wanders, just gently reorienting attention back to presence. And as we Begin the body scan, just letting your attention move from body part to body part, exploring any felt perception that's there, no agenda, just like applying presence moment to moment, just being curious, letting attention rest on each of the body parts as they're named. So this may even begin to happen in the background as your body goes into states of sleep and then comes back out. So no need to overly effort here. Simply allowing ourselves to do the practice just as it comes to us. Let's begin by opening the senses, feeling how sound is coming to the body, sight, taste, touch, smell. our sensing systems just functioning naturally. Letting your attention again rest on the breath very gently as it flows in and out. Noticing the quality of the mind, you know, if there's a efforting that feels kind of like too much, then just notice and welcome that to be here and then rest back into this quality of presence. Just letting yourself be done by the practice rather than being a doer doing the practice, just receiving the practice. So beginning by sensing the jaw, notice if there's any tension or holding in your jaw. And 
Sensing both ears, the left ear first and then the right ear. Noticing any sensations as I name these body parts. The breath coming and going through the nose or the mouth. Bringing attention to both eyes. So first sensing the left eye. Yeah, is there any holding there? If so, any holding or tension, can you allow that to spontaneously release, relax? And before we sense the right eye, just notice the difference. The left eye having had the tension welcome, perhaps released, relaxed. Just notice the difference in the felt sense between that and the right eye. And then gently bring attention to the right eye. If there is any tension or holding, can you allow that to release? And then both eyes simultaneously. Maybe as you feel kind of behind both eyes simultaneously, can you feel now the whole face begins to relax? So any tiny muscles held in the cheeks, jaw, forehead, temples, can you allow that the whole face to relax the muscles. Bringing attention to the crown of the head and the space above it. Back of the head. And just almost like a nectar flowing, sensing from the back of the head down to the back of the neck and then through to the back of the shoulders. Just allowing this kind of cascade, relaxation, release of tension to happen. The whole upper back. Reconnecting with the breath flowing in and out. And sensing the entire left arm. So with an inhale, sense the left shoulder. And then exhale, having that perhaps feeling of nectar flowing all the way down the left arm, all the way into the palm of the left hand. You may feel a vibrant aliveness. As you breathe in and out now, all of your attention is absorbed in the left arm, left hand. Any qualities of sensation that are present. And allow your attention to shift into the entire right arm, taking an inhale, sensing the right shoulder, and then exhale all the way down the right arm, almost like this nectar feeling flowing down the arm into the palm of the right hand. And then as you breathe in and out, all of your attention absorbed in the right arm and the right hand. Radiance of sensation. 
whatever's here. I will sense both arms simultaneously, letting go of thinking, just feeling with the felt sense, both arms and hands. Bring attention to both shoulders with an inhale and exhale all the way down, this nectar flowing all the way down to the palms of the hands, fingertips. Breath coming and going. Feeling the breath as sensation and the both arms and palms as sensation. So exploring the breath as sensation, allow your attention to be drawn to the belly, the chest where the breath flows in and out. So the belly, chest rise and fall with the in and out breath. See if there's a place where it's almost as if attention and the breath become one and it's just breathing. It's like the body's naturally breathing itself. Belly rise, belly fall. Chest rise, chest fall. Let your attention shift to the whole left leg and foot. With an inhale, bringing attention to the left hip. Exhale, that nectar feeling all the way down the left leg into the sole of the left foot. And you may experience this as like a vibrant or radiant aliveness of sensation, like a tingling. like an emptiness that's also radiant. You can have any different experience that's yours to have. So just noticing what's present as you breathe in and out your whole left leg and foot. And allowing attention to go to the right leg and foot with an inhale to the right hip. Exhale, that nectar feeling all the way down the right leg into the sole of the right foot. It's like your right leg and foot are just alive with sensation. Allowing energy to flow. Noticing what you come upon. Now we'll sense both legs and feet at the same time. Just dropping thinking and coming right from the felt sense. Maybe an inhale at the hips and then an exhale, nectar flowing all the way down the legs into the feet. Both legs and feet just alive with sensation. You feel here as well where attention and sensation in the legs and feet become one. And there's this like felt sense of presence. 
no separation. We'll invite now the whole body into awareness. In whatever way feels comfortable for you. So perhaps sensing the whole front side, back and sides. Perhaps sweeping attention from the crown of the head all the way to the soles of the feet. It's as if that nectar feeling of awareness is just flowing all the way down the body. Pleasant, easeful feeling. So there's no one place attention is now oriented, just the global felt sense. And any energy moving in the body can just move freely. Feeling a sense of presence, of being. Very simple, but all encompassing in this moment. Body is breathing, is a resting, this feeling of being, of presence. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go, nobody to be, nothing to learn, just being. You may feel accompanying sensations such as lightness or spaciousness or anything else that may be in your experience, just welcoming whatever's here just as it is. You may want to rest here as this quality of open presence throughout the rest of the meditation, allowing the next words that come to be in the background. Or if you'd like to continue, we'll move forward into the next step of welcoming any emotions or feelings. It may be a feeling of happiness, of neutrality, of disappointment, anything at all is welcome. Just notice, is there any emotion that's kind of surfacing in this moment that would like to be felt, welcomed, allowed? And if not, just continuing with this quality of resting as presence. But if so, turning towards any emotional tones that are here. Again, here, the attention and the emotion or the sensation of it, just sort of, if you can feel in the, in the exploration where they're just so close, they, they aren't separate. So the being with the emotion is an, uh, an act of intimacy with oneself. Whatever's here, welcome just as it is.
and welcoming any thoughts or images, memories, the whole layer sheath of cognition, noticing what arrives as you welcome and be with thoughts, images, beliefs. You could have sort of different memories or images appear. Feeling this quality of presence, no matter what's appearing. You may even see like a stream of thoughts or a crowd of thoughts. They may arise and then fade away. Or maybe just one in particular, whatever's here, just doing the inquiry of meeting what's here, attending to what's present in this moment simultaneously feeling yourself as the presence that's welcoming this, no separation. So you may be noticing emotions or thoughts or images. Can you also notice where the thought of I or the I thought just arises? It kind of takes a hold of one of these things and creates a story. And can we welcome that as well to be just as it is, this movement and awareness? Noticing how we can fuse with what's present in our experience and lose touch with presence. So just noticing that felt sense of the I thought and any suffering that might create or be created in this moment or in your earlier moments for the day. And just allowing, just noticing and allowing exploring your experience just as it is. And can you feel deeper than that to the natural functioning of you that doesn't need that to make decisions and act and thrive and have joy. So can you feel just beneath the movement of the I thought, the movement of thought and mind and emotions, to this quality of presence that kind of can operate in the background as a very natural way of being. embraces all of your uniqueness so as you tune into that felt sense of presence what do you notice in your body Bringing attention to your heart and any feeling that may be present of joy or pleasure or peacefulness, equanimity. Can 
Maybe there's not even really a name for what you experience there. Just resting this feeling of the heart. Open, alive. Responsive to life. Feel that kind of functioning naturally in the background, this open heart, the sense of presence. Perhaps even having a sense of awe or amazement at the uniqueness of, of this being here that's meditating. And of each of us here meditating together. Staying with that theme, letting the breath be like a, an anchor in the background, of coming and going. We'll do a gratitude practice. Is there any thing or anyone in this moment that you feel grateful for and it could be yourself? For being here it could it could be anything at all just allowing the the felt sense of gratitude to arise maybe just grateful to life to have this moment of being here series of moments Not just resting and in Sanskrit it's called sahaj, the natural states of sort of letting letting go of all um, attention, focused attention and simply resting, it's this quality of being, presence. The mind might get very still. Feeling the being. As we move toward closing the practice, turning back to the intention, how is that now? 
Is there anything that wants to be acknowledged here? Are you picturing yourself going through the rest of the evening and into sleep? Sort of sleeping deeply and waking up feeling refreshed and connected. Picturing all of that where there's this feeling of kind of being carried or held by life and just presence moving through you, no need for, no need to do it yourself. Allowing that presence to move through you. Living any um, kind of misperception about a need to do fall away and Relaxing in this being feeling. Let yourself close the practice in any way that feels right for you. You may gently bring your knees in towards your chest and roll off to one side and just rest there for some moments. And then just when it feels right and natural, and letting yourself kind of reorient back to the room, to life. And we'll have some time for reflections and no rush, just really take your time. <laughs> 